IHGN Studios, it's Braves Beat. Hello Braves and welcome to the last episode of Braves Beat for this school year. I'm Jackson Kurt. And I'm Micah Solashatz. Well, this is it, the last week of school and the final episode of Braves Beat. I think it's been a pretty good year. Yeah, I think it has been too. We still have some news to cover, so let's get started. On Tuesday, the freshman biology students did their capstone presentations in the high school gymnasium. Congratulations on some great final projects. Music Fest was last Friday, and thankfully the weather cleared up for the event. Everybody had a great time enjoying the music and free Kona ice. Here's a recap video in case you missed the fun. Well, the rain looked like it's going, it's going to work for us just a little bit. Going to do a little bit of Music Fest. So here we are. Go Braves. Happy to welcome Christy Booth to Indian Hill High School as an innovative teaching and learning coach. Christy has been a very important member of Indian Hill since 2014 and has been in a variety of roles including district special education coordinator, classroom teacher, and summer intervention supervisor. Here's Fanon and Gabe with the final sports report. Take it away guys. Thank you Jackson and Micah. Hello Brace and welcome to this week's sports report. I'm Gabe Tassi. And I'm Fanon Desta. Starting things off in baseball, the Braves defeated New Richmond 3-1 to advance to the district's championship tonight at Kings High School, where they take on Bellbrook. Good luck on Braves. Now into boys tennis. This weekend, the Braves are traveling to the College of Worcester for the state championship. Bring it home, guys. In track, the boys placed first overall at districts with the girls' team taking fifth place. Good luck to both teams as they advance to regionals. Our girls lacrosse team continued to dominate in the postseason with 19-0 win over Edgewood. The girls play tonight at 7 p.m. at home against the Stingers. Good luck to our Lady Braves. Congratulations to Zach Jones, Eli Riggs, Jeffrey Wenker, Jalen Williams, Miles Taylor, and Colton Smith on their commitment to further their academic and athletic careers. You're sure you do great in the future. Well, Braves, that's all the sports news we have for this week. Back to you guys at the news day. Thanks, Manon and Gabe, and good luck to our spring sports teams starting tournament season. Prom was last Saturday, and the theme was Great Gatsby. Let's see how it went. Here's Mr. Johnson with this week's two words. Well, Braves, can you believe it? We're at the end of the school year, and today I simply want to tell you thank you. Thank you for taking time to think about the messages that we've discussed over this year. My goal was simple. It was to remind you of your greatness and that no matter who you are, we all have leadership qualities that we can tap into and use to not only better ourselves, but help others grow and learn and get better. As we go into the summer, think about some of the topics that you've heard from me this year. Remember, leadership doesn't exist only in schools. It's a way of life. We demonstrate leadership with our friends, our 
family, at home, on vacation with our neighbors. Remember, be the example that others look up to and help people when you know that they're in need. Listen to trusted adults in your life and never be afraid to try something new, to do something better, or to speak up for yourself when you know that something is not a good fit for you. These are all basic reminders about what it means to be a leader. Don't make it more complicated than it has to be. You are a leader. I can't wait for us to connect again next year. It's my hope that you have a wonderful summer. Try to relax, have fun, be safe, and most importantly, be the best leader that you can be. Go Braves. All right, Braves, that's all the news we have for this year. Be sure to follow us on X and Instagram, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. And, and remember, remember, stay classy, classy in Hill. Well, don't you think it sucks that all the seniors are gone? It does. But... But... Now we can mess around with stuff.